Today, we have some thrilling news for all Samsung fans out there. Mark your calendars for November 21 because Samsung is gearing up for its annual developer conference, CC24 Korea, and there's a lot to unpack. So let's dive right in. Samsung has been a pioneer in software innovation, and since 2014, their developer conference has been a platform for unveiling groundbreaking updates. This year, there's a lot of anticipation surrounding the announcement of the One UI 7 beta. Samsung has hinted that this beta will be available before the year wraps up, and with SDC 24 just around the corner, could we see that announcement sooner than later? Now let's talk about One UI 7. Samsung has been teasing some major updates, but they haven't followed their usual release schedule for the beta. As of now, the updates are still being refined internally. So while we know the beta program is confirmed for this year, the exact timing is still a bit of a mystery. With the conference happening on November 21, it's possible we might see the beta launch in early December. After all, a slight delay seems reasonable, especially since One UI 7 was on our radar as far back as early August. STC 24 Korea is set to kick off with a welcome address from none other than John Kangun, the CTO of the DX division and head of Samsung Research. He'll be setting the stage for what promises to be an insightful event. The agenda will cover a wide range of topics, including generative AI, software platforms, healthcare solutions, communication technologies, data management, open source infrastructure, and the development culture at Samsung. That's right. This year's conference will delve deep into the software embedded in Samsung products. It's a great opportunity for developers and tech enthusiasts to learn about the innovations that are shaping the future of Samsung's ecosystem. Jae Jin Min, the director of the Samsung Research Software Innovation Center, has shared some exciting insights about this year's event. He mentioned that there will be a greater share of presentations from Samsung Electronics developers compared to last year. This means we'll get more behind-the-scenes looks at Samsung's R&D activities. Jajin emphasized, we aim to continue strengthening the software ecosystem through meaningful engagement with numerous developers. This focus on developer engagement is crucial. It shows Samsung's commitment to building a robust software community and enhancing the overall user experience across its devices. So what you all think? Are you excited about the potential announcement of the One UI 7 beta at SDC24? What features are you hoping to see? Let's get the conversation going in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all things Samsung, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support means the world to us and it helps us bring you more awesome content. That's it for today. We can't wait to see what Samsung has in store for us at SDC24 Korea. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, 
and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9 inch OLED panel with a 120 Hz refresh rate and an always on display that can drop its refresh rate to just one Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120 Hz refresh rate and always on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20-watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25-watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15-watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. 
Either way, you're getting a top tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.